It's been 13 years since Bubby West and Creighton Prep met in the state championship, and the Jays were looking to avenge that 2005 loss on Saturday. Creighton got on a hot streak in the opening minutes thanks to Jaden Timmy, who knocked home a couple of three-pointers. Thunderbirds played some stingy defense, including a steal at half court that turned into a slam dunk for Tevin Tanner roughly midway through the quarter. The lead was at six points going into the second quarter with the Jays up 17 to 11 and shooting over 33% from the perimeter. In the second quarter, the Thunderbirds brought the score as close as one point, 19 to 20, but Bellevue West went the entire first half without making a three-pointer. Creighton Prep extended their lead back to four just in time for the halftime break, including a two-handed slam from a cola rope. In the second half, T-Bird senior Cedric Johnson helped get the offense back on track, knocking down a three early in the third quarter. Down 32-36, Chucky Hepburn knocked down a short jumper, and Johnson quickly stole the inbounds pass to give Bellevue West the 36-34 lead with two minutes and 38 seconds to go before the fourth. Jays tied the game up 36-36 to end the quarter after getting outscored by the Thunderbirds 13-9. Fourth quarter continued to be a tight battle between the two teams, but Prep hit stride and went on a 15-0 run in order to take a 13-point lead with a minute 50 to play in the game. Bellevue West made an effort to come back, including a four-point play from Chucky Hepburn, but the effort would fall short as Prep snags the 56-46 win. Bellevue West head coach Doug Woodward said down the stretch, Creighton Prep found a rhythm they couldn't quite match. One of the main things we wanted to try to limit was um, uh, Hunter's penetration. Um, so uh, thought we did that. Um, uh, to Prep's credit, which is why they're the club they are, they uh, they had a response in that last five minutes, um, and we just couldn't find enough offense. Johnson led Bellevue West offensively with 16 points and eight rebounds. Well, fortunately, I was able to play for one of the best coaches in the state, Doug, and um, he led a, a young group. Last year we had two seniors, this year we have three. We have a lot of returners, so um, it shows how much growth we have and our young players to make it all the way to the um, state finals, which a lot of teams dream of, and next year I, I believe they can do the same thing. With Great prep head coach Josh Lutke says this year's state championship meant a lot after getting knocked out in round one just a year ago. The seniors really round last year, and uh, they said, you know, th this could be us, this should be us, we want this to be us, and, and from the time we started off-season workouts till when we started practice, uh, all the guys bought in. Kyle Lutke hit a big three-point shot late for the Jays to help spark the 15-0 run, while Jalen Hunter provided the continuous threat driving in the paint. And I think they were in their zone, and I kind of just found an open spot, and my teammates just had to trust me to give, give me the ball, and um, luckily I was hitting today, and I made the shot. I would have never thought this time last year I would have been in this position. I've been blessed with uh, my parents putting me in this opportunity, Coach Lutke bringing me in uh, and taking me honestly as a son. That's what I look I look at him as another dad to me. And um, just Kyle, I look at him as a brother to me, and just... I feel like we just are a family as a team. Everybody around, everybody around us, we all bought in, and that's why I feel like we uh, came out on top. Lutke led all scores with 24 points, while Hunter added 11 with three assists and two steals. This marks the 13th state championship for Creighton Prep since 1924, and Bellevue West finishes as state runner-up for the fifth time since 1991. Reporting from Pinnacle Bank Arena, I'm Grant Ott, News Channel Nebraska.